Before the video starts, consider clicking on the bell icon just next to the subscribe button to get notified whenever a new video comes out. And if you like my vlogs, feel free to subscribe to VZ Racer Vlogs. Enjoy! Uneven firing brings issues with overall smooth engine running. This, as one of the downsides, becomes less of an issue when different power delivery or perhaps simplicity are desired. There are so many uneven firing engines with so many various layouts. Two hundred and seventy degree inline twin. The 270 degree inline twin is a cheaper and overall more practical way to create a V twin firing engine. As the second cylinder fires 270 degree later than the first one, the firing is actually the same as a single pin 90 degree V twin. This causes a bigger pause between the two firings, which creates a time gap for the tire to regrip. An interesting fact is that this setup runs smoother than a 180 degree and creates less vibrations than a more conventional 360 degree inline twin. One hundred and eighty degree inline twin. The one hundred and eighty degree straight twin runs irregularly, as while the first cylinder is at the top, the second one is at the bottom. This assures that both cylinders fire very closely after each other. This setup suffers from the fewest pumping losses over the other one, as the crankcase displacement stays roughly the same. It appeared for the first time in the sixties in Japanese bikes. One hundred and eighty degree inline three. A regular firing three cylinder itself has a funky sound, let alone this unique engine by Laverda, as the only one using this firing interval. The Yota 1003 C has a one hundred and eighty degree spaced crank pins, unlike a more conventional one hundred and twenty degree crankshaft. To give you an idea, while the middle cylinder is at the top dead center. The outer ones are at the bottom dead center. Later on in 1982, Laverda actually changed the firing order to 120 degree. Crossplane inline 4. Yamaha's crossplane 4 cylinder was widely advertised and is now a common thing. Although at first the YZF-R1 was given the crossplane crankshaft in 2009, in the YZ-RM1 bike since 2004. The main goal was to minimize the initial torque which occurs between the power strokes. With this system incorporating the 90 degree crankshaft layout, this is even out which supposedly improves throttle feeling. Odd firing V6. The Buick Fireball V6 has a different V angle than it should have. A 90 degree V6 is most often created by chopping off two cylinders from a V8, and unless the crankshaft receives split crank pins, the engine will run uneven and rougher. It is not very noticeable while cruising, it is more apparent at the idle. Besides Buick, Chevrolet has also created some odd firing V6s.
crossplane V8. The same example as the four cylinder crossplane is these V8s with a crossplane crankshaft. The firing is unevenly spaced amongst the 90 degree offset crank pins on the crankshaft. This creates an unequal frequency, resulting in a barble sound. The new Shelby GT350 does also sound barbly, but that's because of the unequal length headers, otherwise, it would sound similar to a flat plane Ferrari V8. The same goes with the STIs and its unequal header regarding the barbly sound. <laughs> Odd firing V10. Similarly to the odd firing V6, a V10 can fire either even or odd too. There are a couple of V10s with a 90 degree angle and shared non split crank pins, which results in the aforementioned odd firing. An interesting thing is that both the BMW S85 and Ford Triton V10 have the same firing order, but the first one runs odd, the other one even firing. The Triton simply has split crank pins to even it out. Thank you.